Explorer X here. The community has spoken. Scottish folklore it is. In Scottish folklore, the fashion also known as the fashion, fashion, Dereach Glen Ided, or Dethreach, is a monster or giant with a unique and terrifying appearance. It is described as having a single eye in the middle of its face, a single hand protruding from its chest instead of arms, and a single leg emerging from its central axis. The fashion is also said to have a single tuft of hair on the top of its head that is so strong, it would be easier to uproot a mountain than to bend this tuft. Some accounts describe the fashion as having a venomous spell on each of the apples that it carries in chains on its hand, and as wearing a mantle of twisted hard-thick feathers to protect its body. The fashion is often depicted as being incredibly strong, with the ability to lift heavy objects and communicate with animals. In some stories, it is portrayed as a violent and dangerous creature, attacking humans and animals and having a particular fondness for eating the hearts of its victims. However, there are also accounts of the fashion being a more benevolent being, helping humans in need or protecting them from harm. The origins of the fashion legend are uncertain, but it is thought that it may be related to other Gaelic folklore traditions, such as the Irish fat hack and the Scottish fam hair. Some scholars have also suggested that the fashion may have been influenced by creatures from Arabic folklore, such as the Nesnas or Shik, which were described as half of a human being, and were able to hop around on one leg with great agility. Despite its fearsome reputation, the fashion is not a well-known creature outside of Scotland. One old story. In the small Scottish village of Glen Ediv, the legend of the fashion was a constant source of fear and dread. No one knew for sure what the fashion looked like, or where it came from, but everyone in Glen Etive knew to stay far away from the dark, foreboding forest where it was rumored to dwell. One day, a young man named Ewan decided he had had enough of living in fear. Ewan was a brave and determined individual, and he was determined to prove to himself and to the villagers that the fashion was nothing more than a myth. Ewan set out into the forest armed with nothing but a stout walking stick and a fierce determination. He searched for the fashion for what seemed like an eternity, calling out to it and daring it to show itself. Finally, as the last rays of sunlight were fading from the sky, Ewan heard a voice that sent chills down his spine. It was the voice of the fashion, and it was coming from somewhere just beyond the trees. Ewan followed the voice, his heart racing with fear and excitement. When he emerged into a clearing, he saw the fashion standing before him, its single eye glowing with an otherworldly light. The fashion was even more terrifying than Ewan could have ever imagined, but he refused to back down. He stood his ground, brandishing his walking stick and telling the fashion that it would never defeat him. The fashion laughed, a sound that sent shudders down Ewan's spine. It told Ewan that he was no match for its power and that he would be wise to turn and flee while he still had the chance. Ewan knew that the fashion was right, but he could not bring himself to retreat. He stood his ground, determined to face the creature and banish it from Glen Edda forever. The fashion lunged at Ewan, its one hand extended and ready to strike. Ewan swung his walking stick with all his might, but it was no match for the fashion's strength. The creature easily overpowered him, its single hand wrapping around Ewan's throat and choking the life out of. Leave him alone, the voice commanded. Ewan opened his eyes to see a giant figure standing over him, its arms crossed and its face filled with anger. The figure was a giant, with skin as hard as stone and hair that flowed like flames. The fashion hesitated, its single eye flickering with fear. It knew that it was no match for the giant, and with a final, furious snarl, it turned and fled into the forest, disappearing into the woods. The giant helped Ewan to his feet and introduced itself as Fion, a powerful warrior and protector of the forest. Ewan was grateful to Fion for saving his life, but he knew that it was too late. He was already dying, and there was nothing that could be done to save him. As Ewan's vision began to fade, he saw Fion's face blur before him. He heard the giant's voice filled with sorrow and regret, as it whispered. I'm sorry, Ewan. I tried to save you, but it was too late. And with those final words, 
Ewan closed his eyes for the last time. The brownie. Not the kind I want to eat right now. According to Scottish folklore, a brownie, also known as a brunie, brunade, or gruigak, is a type of household spirit or hobgoblin that is said to live in the homes of humans and perform various tasks while the owners are asleep. These creatures are described as being small, stout, and wrinkled, with large heads, beady eyes, pointed ears, and long, shaggy hair or fur. They are usually depicted as wearing simple, rustic clothing, such as rough spun tunics and breeches made of animal hides. Brownies are known for their industrious nature and are said to be very helpful around the house, completing tasks such as sweeping, dusting, and even farming and livestock care. They are also depicted as being kind and well-intentioned, although they can be mischievous and prone to playing pranks if they are not treated with respect and gratitude. In many stories, brownies are said to be very private and reclusive, and they are rarely seen by humans. They are also depicted as being very shy and easily frightened, and they will often flee if they are confronted or threatened. Despite their elusive nature, brownies are generally seen as benevolent and helpful creatures, and they are often depicted as being very loyal to their human hosts. Some stories also attribute magical powers to brownies, such as the ability to shape shift or grant wishes. They are also said to have a deep understanding of the natural world and the ability to communicate with animals. In addition to their household chores, brownies are also believed to have the power to bring good luck and prosperity to those who treat them with kindness and respect. Many people in Scotland have a strong belief in the existence of brownies and will leave out offerings of food and drink as a way to show their gratitude and keep the spirits happy. Overall, the brownie is a fascinating and enduring figure in Scottish folklore, and it continues to capture the imagination of people all over the world. Whether they are seen as helpful household spirits or mischievous hobgoblins, there are many different stories and traditions surrounding brownies, and each one adds its own unique twist to the legend. In some stories, brownies are said to be able to take on different forms, such as animals or even inanimate objects, in order to carry out their tasks. Others depict them as having the ability to predict the future or to bring good fortune to those who show them kindness. Here's an old story. The Brownie of Fern Den is a famous legend in Scottish folklore that tells the story of a mischievous brownie who lived in the woods near the village of Fern Denver. According to the legend, the brownie was known for causing trouble and playing pranks on the villagers and it was said to have a particular fondness for causing chaos in the local mills. Despite its mischievous nature, the brownie of Fern Den was also said to be very helpful, and it was known to complete tasks for the villagers when it was in the mood. Some people even claimed that the brownie had magical powers, and that it could predict the future or bring good luck to those who treated it with kindness. Over time, the legend of the brownie of Fern Den became very popular, and it was told, and retold by generations of people in the village. Many people claimed to have had encounters with the brownie, and there were even some who claimed to have made deals with it in exchange for its help. Despite its fame, the brownie of Fern Den remained a mysterious and elusive figure, and to this day, its true nature and motivations remain a subject of debate and speculation. Some people believe that the brownie was a benevolent spirit, while others believe that it was nothing more than a mischievous hobgoblin. Regardless of its true nature, the legend of the Brownie of Fern Den continues to capture the imagination of people all over the world. And one more. The Brownie of Bodesbeck Farm is a legend from Scottish folklore that tells the story of a helpful brownie who lived on a farm in the village of Bodesbeck. According to the legend, the brownie was a hard-working and industrious creature that lived in the barn and helped the farmer with his tasks. It was said to be very good at completing tasks quickly and efficiently, and it was known to work tirelessly throughout the night while the farmer and his family slept. Despite its helpful nature, the brownie of Bodesbeck Farm was also known to be mischievous and prone to playing pranks on the farmer and his family. It was said to have a particular fondness for causing chaos in the barn, and it was known to rearrange tools and equipment, hide objects, and create general mischief. Despite its quirks, the farmer and his family were grateful for the help of the Brownie of Bodesbeck Farm, 
and they always made sure to treat it with kindness and respect. In return, the brownie worked even harder, and the farm prospered under its care. Over time, the legend of the brownie of Bodesbeck Farm became very popular in the village, and it was told and retold by generations of people. Many people claimed to have had encounters with the brownie, and there were even some who claimed to have made deals with it in exchange for its help. The Kelpie is a mythical water spirit that is said to inhabit lochs, rivers, and other bodies of water in Scotland. It is typically depicted as a black horse-like creature that can take on human form, but which retains its hooves when appearing as a human, leading to its association with the Christian idea of Satan. In its horse form, the Kelpie is known for its beauty and allure, and it uses these charms to entice people to come closer. Once a person is within its grasp, the Kelpie will reveal its true form and drag its victim into the water to drown them. Despite its malevolent nature, the Kelpie is also said to be vulnerable to certain magical spells and charms. Those who are skilled in the use of magic can defeat or control the Kelpie, but doing so is not without its risks. The Kelpie is a powerful and cunning spirit, and it will stop at nothing to protect its aquatic realm. The origins of the Kelpie legend are shrouded in mystery, and there is much debate about the true nature of this creature. Some believe it to be a purely mythical being, while others claim that it is based on real animals that have been exaggerated and distorted over time. Some theories suggest that the legend of the Kelpie may have originated with stories of river horses or water spirits that were told by the ancient Celts. Others believe that the Kelpie may be related to other mythical water creatures from around the world, such as the Germanic Nixie, the Welsh Cephal DWR, and the Australian Bunyip. In art and literature, the Kelpie has been depicted in a variety of forms, ranging from fearsome monsters to mischievous and playful spirits. Perhaps the most famous artistic representation of the Kelpie can be found in Falkirk, Scotland, where two massive steel sculptures called the Kelpies stand as a testament to this enduring legend. Whether you believe in the Kelpie or not, it is a powerful symbol of the mysteries and dangers that lurk in the depths of Scotland's lochs and rivers. Angus was a young Scottish soldier who had always been a skeptic when it came to mythical creatures. He scoffed at the stories of Kelpies that haunted the loch near his military base in the Scottish Highlands, believing them to be nothing more than silly folklore. But one fateful day, Angus decided to go for a swim in the loch, despite the warnings of the local villagers. As he waded into the cold water, he couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. Suddenly, he felt a tug on his leg, and he was dragged down into the depths of the loch. Struggling and panicked, he tried to swim back to the surface, but it was no use. The Kelpie had him in its grasp, and it was dragging him down into the cold, dark water. As Angus was pulled under, he caught a glimpse of the Kelpie's true form a black horse with glowing red eyes and sharp, razor-like teeth. It was a terrifying sight, and Angus knew that he would never make it back to the surface alive. And so, the young Scottish soldier met his demise at the hands of the water Kelpie. His body was lost forever in the cold, dark depths of the loch. Well, I'm just dying to go to bed. Once 1,000 subscribers is achieved, I'm going to make something very special for all of you. Remember if you want to be alerted of new content subscribe. Good night. Explorer X out.